What's up guys? I'm coming at you live from the beaches of northern New Jersey, fishing the fall striper run up here. Uh, gorgeous day for striper fishing out here. It's overcast, it's windy. Uh, our run is just getting started here in New Jersey. Water temps are just around 60 degrees. They're on the drop right now. Next few weeks should prove to be some good striper fishing. Talking about a lure that works really well for stripers uh, casting off the beaches like this, uh, and that is the storm shad. Uh, not just storm shads, there's a whole variety of shads on the market right now. I'm throwing a five inch chartreuse storm shad. I like the storms over the tsunamis and the other uh, knockoff brands. Uh, these were the originals, and uh, these really have like a nice action with the tail. They're so flimsy. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So I'm gonna get going, start fishing here, see how we do. There he is. Oh. Right in the wash. Look at that. Woo! First fish of the day. Not too big. Fat little short. He liked that four inch storm shed and he was real tight to the beach. Real tight to the beach he was. So yeah, I mean he's not very big but uh, first fish is always the hardest so pretty psyched to get one. Hopefully they get bigger from here. Let's do a quick measurement on them real quick here. Uh, 20 incher. 20 inch bass. Oh, uh, very tough to handle these bass. Very tough to handle. So many spikes. Gill plates, spines. Gonna release them. That was a bad release. He's gonna make it though. He's definitely gonna make it. There he goes. He made it. All right, so that was on this four inch storm shed. Oh, this is a five inch storm shed, I'm sorry. I should be using a six inch storm shed. Uh, the condition of this ocean, it's really rough. These are actually perfect striper conditions. When it's rough, when it's foamy like this, uh, very good time to be striper fishing. All right, so that's one for the storm shed. Let's try to get another. Oh, fiyong. Another one, another one. Oh, that one also hit right in the wash. Slightly bigger, slightly bigger than that last 20 incher. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's all right. Run him all the way up this beach. Solid striper right there. That's. Uh, I'll take that all day. You know, it's not like a the cow you want to catch but it is a nice one is that hook extraction on that storm shad all right let's measure that fish let's see how big he is I haven't caught many stripers lately I kind of am off with my measurements I got to get my gauge back here uh, and uh, 25 25 inches fun size bass I call that the fun size bass and uh, he was all over that storm shad ah. This rough foamy water, folks, that's exactly what you need, you know, to put bass on the beach. Even during the daytime. All that foam, you like it, you like that foam. Gotta get that foam. Alright, we got a seagull pecking at something up here. Oh nope. Get away from it. What we have here is a sundial. I saw him pecking at it for a little while. And uh, that is just like a species of flounder. It's usually around New Jersey beaches like this, this time of year, late in the year, like uh, November, December. You can come out and you can catch these. Uh, those birds got a hold of that one. And there's like a misinterpretation that that is a winter flounder. Guys call it a winter flounder. Look, he's already on it. Uh, but it is not a winter flounder. It is a sundial. They're out there. Probably a lot of sundials out there right now. Uh, it's getting dark now. I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna change my tactics up. I'm gonna throw a plug. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really film at night, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something about the storm shed. Maybe you'll uh, give the storm shed another chance or you'll try it yourself and catch a fish or two. Uh, it was pretty good to me today. I mean, I got two fish. That's like, eh, I was hoping to do better than that, but uh, you know, it's better than the skunk. So I'm gonna keep fishing. 
And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be making more videos. Just constantly making more videos. So I'll catch you guys later.